Welcome back to the Texas music scene, folks. You know, between playing live gigs, co-hosting the morning drive radio show, and starting a family, you might call Charla Corn the busiest woman in America. And while that very well might be in the case, she is also a talented musician and songwriter. Well, she and her brother, Clay Corn, put together a collection of 11 heartfelt tunes that she titled Stella. Here's her story behind that album. Stella and it's entitled Stella because it was this old like guitar that played kind of throughout the whole record. It, it used to only be available like through Sears and Robux catalog so it's like this ancient guitar but it had this like changly acoustic sound through the whole record and um, so she, Stella, made her appearance through every song so that's why we named the record Stella. You know I wrote all the songs while I was pregnant with my baby which by the way when you're pregnant you your mind gets like flowing like crazy. So I wrote the entire record while I was pregnant in about three months though. And we uh, went into the studio. I had sent Clay the songs like throughout. He kind of gave the approval. There was a few that he, you know, put the kibosh on. We kind of get each other, I guess. You know, being brothers and sister, you kind of get that, okay, well, this is what I want it to sound like. But we kind of have our own corny, sound, <laughs> if you will, I guess. Hey. Love Me Like You Stole Me. That was one of those just balls of the wall, like, you know, roll the windows down, let your hair blow in the wind kind of a song. And, you know, that was really, that's a really cool rocking tune off of Stella. Then William Clark Green and I sat down and we were able to pen a song called Way It Goes. And that's a su super fun, cute, like early marriage, kind of getting through the hiccups early on in a relationship kind of a song. And it was really fun to not only write with him, but also be able to perform it with him in the studio. And we've done it live a couple of times too. busy, but I'm also, I feel like I'm living my dream right now. And I really feel like that's what Stella kind of encompasses that. I'm just comfortable and you see that in the record. Like nothing is forced, nothing's overwritten. I, don't, I, don't, I think the first record I was really trying a little too hard, but with this one, I really have kind of come into my own and, and uh, you know, my whole story is being written right now and that's really what Stella is all about. But I ain't seen 